All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is Brother Kashakwala coming back at you with another lesson, giving all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Machakadash. Uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who will only teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. Uh, today we're going to get in a quick lesson, um, just fairly quick. I'm sitting here at work. Um, you can see the uh, earthquakes happening over in California. Um, I work at a certain air, uh, place where I can get the weather. Um, you see a whole bunch of, um, natural disasters. I've been seeing a whole bunch of sinkholes, tornadoes. There's a big tornado in China, uh, that killed like four or five people and injured 190 people, you know, um, different little things. There's, uh, been, um, they got a, there's a tropical storm going on, tropical storm Barbara. Um, it was a category five, but it didn't hit land, but it just dwindled down to a, a tropical storm. Um, this is a lot of natural disasters going on. And I just wanted to get Matthew 24. And, uh, I know the brothers in Atlanta did, a a live stream on the Lord is visiting this place with violence. And that's true. And one way the violence comes is uh, through natural disaster. So this is uh, Matthew 24 and 4. It says, And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. That's right. Many shall come and be liars and deceivers, and deception is their friend, okay? But you have to stay rooted and uh, you have to stay rooted in Yahweh Shai and Mashiach so you don't get beguiled by those things. Let me get a precept real quick. First uh, Thessalonians 3 and 8. It says, for now we live if we stand fast in the Lord. That's right. We live if we stand fast in the Lord and we won't be uh, beguiled by those antichrists, <laughs> you could say. Okay. So it says, uh, verse 6 and it says, "Ye and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, which we oh, we do right now. We heard of that um, that drone being shot down by the Iranian uh, government, uh, the U.S. drone being shot down by the Iran Iranian government. We heard um, America wants to go uh, invade Iran because of these things and retaliate. Uh, uh, there was an article. I don't know how true it is that." A U.S. Uh, submarine got sunk by a Russian vessel over there next to uh, uh, Alaska. Fourteen Russians died, and the whole uh, ship sunk from the U.S. side. You see you see a lot of war games going on, uh, strategy moves, um, uh, positioning, and fighting for position. Okay, we see a lot of that going on. Those are the wars and rumors of wars. There's actually boots on the ground fighting, and then there's just... A big boy talk going on that's wars and rumors of wars it says see that ye be not troubled so when we see these things don't be so discombobulated in the mind like oh my gosh I'm gonna... it's like we understand that these things must happen okay they gotta happen they have to happen in order to let us know that hey he's coming back so it says for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet that's right these things have to come to pass, but it ain't over yet, all right? These things are for um, signs that the Lord is coming back, okay? It says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, okay? And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes, all right, in diverse places. You see? Right there. It says earthquakes in diverse places, pestilence and famines, but... As we know, one of the most rele rele relevant things is the earthquakes that are going on, especially in California. A six point, like a 6.4 hit on Thursday. And then uh, uh, just yesterday on Friday, because today, today's so-called Saturday, just yesterday, a 7.1 earthquake hit. A 7.1 earthquake it was one of the biggest earthquakes to hit uh, um, California in a while, man. We're waiting on that 9.0 to where California gets sunk off into the, <laughs> uh, uh, whatchamacallit, 
the uh, Pacific Ocean. Rock Hill, all right. Until they, uh, until it gets totally decimated. Of course, we pray for the brothers that are over there pushing the word in all truth and sincerity. But these earthquakes are a form of, of how the Lord is visiting the the earth. Now I want to go back up to verse six, because it says, "For all these things must come to pass." That's right. The wars, the rumors of wars, the famines and pestilence and earthquakes, and, uh, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. All that must come to pass. So I wanted to get the word must. OK, and, the, and it should be die in the in the uh, Hebrew. I mean, Salaki in the Greek. All right. Yeah, die. All right. It says it is necessary. There is need of it behooves is right and proper. Yeah, it's proper for these things to happen in order for us to get the signs and the inclination that to understand that, hey, yeah, I was shot is coming back. These things must happen. OK, it says necessity lying in the nature of the case, necessity brought by circumstances or by the conduct of others towards us. All right. I'm going to go down. It says necessity uh, to let's go to E. Entry E. Necessity established by the council and decree of Yahweh, especially by the purpose of which relates to, to the salvation of men by the intervention of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, which is disclosed in the Old Testament prophecies. You see, the salvation, the Asalaki, these things have to come so the salvation can come. These things have to come because it's a decree that was decreed by Yahweh. You see? So when the earthquakes happen, the pestilence happens, the famine happens, the wars happen, the, the kingdoms start falling, all these things have to happen prior to Yahweh Shai coming back and gives us uh, a good a time frame to where we can keep up and be like, okay, he's close, he's close, he's getting closer, he's getting closer. You see? On to the Strong's definition, it says, it is necessary, it says, behooved, be meat, be meat mean is uh, meat meaning acceptable. So these things are acceptable that, that them these things happening is very acceptable. It says mo must need ought and should. It ought to happen. <laughs> these things ought to happen. All right. So going down to verse eight, it says all these are the beginning of sorrows. Exactly. All these things are the beginning of sorrows. All these things needs be happen. Okay. And I'm gonna get one more thing. That needs to happen as well. All right. Because I remember um, we were at camp on Thursday and some Jake came up and was like, oh, yeah, he's speaking about the rapture. Of course, there's not even the word rapture is not even in the Bible, but we understood where he was coming from. But he was like, the rapture is going to happen before the tribulation. No, nah, no, nah, playboy. <laughs> we, uh, people, every the book of Revelation say everybody had to go through the tribulation. The whole world would be tried. That's what the book of Revelation says. OK, so what that means, this evil is going to come upon uh, uh, the the children of Israel. OK, which is in the form of Jacob's trouble for these two thirds, man. Jacob's trouble is for the two thirds. I'm going to say it 100. Yeah, we're going to go through our trials and tribulation during that time, but it's primarily for the two thirds. So this is Jeremiah 11 and 11 it says, therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, I will bring evil upon them which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. That's right. So these, this right here has to happen, okay, before Yahweh Shai cracks the skies. People got to get weeded out, all right? Jacob's trouble was another, is another 40 years in the, in the going in circles in the, in the wilderness, all right, but in a more extreme, extreme level. With and, and the Lord is going to do it with extreme pre prejudice, okay? Simple. Jeremiah 11, 11 has to happen. But see that this does not trouble you, especially if you have the Lord on your side, man, okay? We see these earthquakes popping off. We see famines in other countries popping off. Shit, America's in a famine. This GMO bullshit they're feeding us, okay? We there ain't no real food here. It's a, it's a simple task to just cut the food off. And then implement the chip to, to acquire some crumbs. Okay? And that's what's going to happen. What we see when these things happen, that we not be troubled. Because this is a sign that we're almost the hell out of this place. 
you should want to see these things happen. You should want to see the pestilence and the and diseases happen as well, man. So, with that, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. This is Brother Kasha Kuala. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Uh, until next time.